When we look at the most popular cards in rank duels, we can immediately see that Mystical Space Typhoon is the most popular spell. That's actually quite interesting because that wasn't always the case. Before the release of MST, Cosmic Cyclone is released over three years ago. It requires a 1000 life point payment but banishes any spell or trap card. It has always been treated as an upgraded version of MST because banishing a spell or trap is often more useful than destroying it, as some spells and traps have effects that activate when they are destroyed. The life point cost is barely a demerit, and can be beneficial in many decks instead because of the skill system in dual links. Skills that require you to lose 1000 life points to activate are ideal for Cosmic Cyclone to trigger. Cosmic Cyclone has always seen competitive play ever since its release, even currently. In the era where Sea Stealth Attack was meta, Cosmic was a perfect counter because it can banish Umi and bypass the protection effect of Sea Stealth Attack. Cosmic can banish Dark Lord spells and traps to stop Dark Lord monsters from endlessly recycle them. In Invoked Element Saber decks, Cosmic was used to trigger Sorcery Conduit before it was nerfed to Sir Chalice to the Invoker. Cosmic can also be used against Invoked decks to banish Invocation and stop it from recycling itself. Against Dark Magician decks, Cosmic can banish Navigation to prevent its negation effect. Cosmic can banish Cybernetic Overflow in Cyber Dragon decks and Super Team Buddy Force Unite in Desperado decks without triggering their graveyard effects. Cosmic can banish Noble Knight equip cards and they would not equip themselves back from the graveyard again. Cosmic Cyclone has so much advantage over MST, so when MST was initially released three years later, people sort of thought it was some kind of a joke. You might wonder, if Cosmic Cyclone is that good, why does MST see so much more play than it now? The main reason is meta shift. In the current meta, most competitive decks don't play spells or traps that have graveyard effects, so the extra 1000 life point cost from Cosmic Cyclone is just unnecessary, players can just use MST instead without paying any life points. In fact, it is better to destroy set spells or traps than to banish it in the current meta because destroying traps counters treacherous trap hole. Meta decks currently don't use skills that activate when your life points are lowered by 1000. So Cosmic Cyclone's life point cost isn't useful. Cosmic Cyclone also comes from a terrible box, so newer players that haven't picked up Cosmic yet would rather invest on MST, which comes from a much newer and relevant box. Not to mention a recent meta deck, Clock Tower Destiny Heroes, has a skill that searches MST specifically from the deck. Cosmic Cyclone is limited to 3, so a few specific decks can't even choose to play it, and are forced to play MST instead. Will MST stop seeing so much competitive play? The short answer is yes. When the meta changes again, when spells and traps with graveyard effects become popular, Cosmic Cyclone will take over the meta once again. New back row removal options will be released in the future too, so it won't be surprising if MST fades out from the meta. So, should you invest on MST? If you're using a dream ticket, I would suggest getting Cosmic Cyclone instead. It is a much better investment to counter spell or trap cards that might be released in the future, because banishing a card is still better than destroying one most of the time. But if you're not using a dream ticket and are planning to get them with gems, getting MST is better right now as it comes from a better box. Thanks for watching goodbye.